What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new heavy metal knitting competition. Today we're going to be talking about Firebase. Now this is a new series, it's a sub series. So uh, yeah. <laughs> so to get everything started we do need to create an account, a Google account. I'm pretty sure most of you already have it. If you don't just sign up, it'll be pretty easy. After that after you have a Google account, which most of us do, go to firebase.google.com. It should take you to this page or something similar to this, just in case it's in the future. Maybe it's going to change. This page is going to change. But you should get a get started or a create a project. Just click on that. So we're going to click on get started. And right here, <clears throat> go to create a project. Or it just sorry guys if you don't see get started just go to go to council up here you should see this as well it'll take you to the same spot as we were right now we're gonna just create a project and we're gonna I'm gonna name this one budget snob since we are going to be incorporating this budget snob into our uh, project snob and no so just budget snob just like that I accept and hit continue. Continue. Select an account. I'm gonna select mine, Web Dev Journey. Create project. And I'll be back once this finishes. So after all that's done, it should take you to a dashboard of your project that you just created, just like mine, budget snob. It should take you to this dashboard. Now, Firebase does have a ton of features that you can play around with, but for right now, we're only going to be focusing on the real time database, which is right here under develop and authentication system. We're going to be using these two. This is the biggest reason why we're using this. Like I said, they have a lot of things. They have quality. They have grow a B tests. You can actually do a B tests with this stuff, um, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but like I said, we're only doing real-time database and authentication. Those are the two big ones we're going to be using. So just to make this clear, uh, the database of Firebase that Firebase uh, gives you, it's a NoSQL or NoSQL, as most people want to call it. Or I don't know how you want to say it, but it's a NoSQL database, meaning that you're going to get a JSON back. If you don't know what NoSQL is, <laughs> just look it up. It's pretty simple. I mean, if you, if you mess around with Node, you know what NoSQL is. <clears throat> so what we want to do, go inside database and we're going to create a database. Now I'll click on that. Now for right now, we are going to be doing it in test mode. Now, the reason why we're doing it in test mode is because anybody could read and write in production. You're going to have to be authenticated, which is another topic that we're going to get into in another video. But authentication is just no, it's another beast on its own. So. I'm going to just leave authentication out of that. And so that way we can just start messing with messing around with the database all on its own and start learning what the database can do. Read and write, you know, create, read, update, all that stuff without having to worry about authentication. Don't worry about it. We are going to fix the authentication part later on. Uh, but right now we just, I don't want to mess with that. I just want you to learn the database structure of Firebase. So we're going to do it in test mode. It tells you right here, any other database reference will be able to read and write to your database for 30 days, which is great. It's awesome. Okay. So I'll click on next. And this is just, uh, this right here is just where the cloud fire the server is being located. So we want it as close as possible. More than likely it is going to give you the default, which is going to be the closest to you, which is fine. Don't mess around with this unless you, unless you know what you're doing, then go ahead and like, I, I wouldn't want my data of my server to be in Europe. I'm not even near Europe. So I'm going to just leave it as is. So I'm going to click on done and it's going to give you a, a database. You created a database. Now I will get back to you once this is done. After all that is done, you should see a um, dashboard with the database and this. You can go to rules. You could change the rules. This is where your authentication is going to be at. This is telling you, hey, this is all the stuff or who's go who's invited to actually uh, mess around with your database, which is basically everybody. Anyways, we are actually done with the database for right now. We're not going to mess around with the this dashboard. So what we're going to do is go to project overview again. And then we're going to click on this little thing. This is for our web application, which we are using 
uh, we are doing a web application. So we want the web configuration. Now you could do it for the iOS or Android, but we're doing, uh, you can have do it for Unity as well, but we're doing web. So click on this. And what you're going to do is give a uh, app nickname. Our app is Budget Snob. Budget Snob, just like so. Um, register app. Once that's done, it should give you this right here. Now you're going to see this thing. So let me actually go go over what this is. So the first script right here is actually to connect to the Firebase, uh, your your console, your Firebase application or your Firebase, uh, what's it called? God damn it. The project, there you go. Firebase project, which is budget stop, right? And the second one is for the analytics of it, all right? So we're not gonna be messing around with the analytics unless you want to. I don't really want to for this application. I'm just going to be messing around with the first one, which is connecting it to our project. Now, the second right here, this is actually all of our things, all of our config that we actually need, so that way it does connect to this project. Now, don't worry about this. We are gonna just copy and paste this for right now. Uh, in our project, uh, but later on we are gonna set this into environment environment variables because that's what you want. You don't want this to be sitting on your server and anybody if they hack into your server, they're gonna see that. Oh look, the API key is this. Oh look, the database URL is this, which you don't want nobody to actually have. Uh, so, but for right now, it doesn't matter. You could actually copy, see this, pause the video. I don't really care. It's going to be gone in 30 days. Who cares? But um, yeah, so this is our configuration, which we are going to copy and paste and we're just initializing our app right here. Obviously, we're not going to be using the second one because we don't, we're not going to be doing analytics. You can if you want to, but I'm not. So let's just copy this right here. And oh, by the way, this script, we're not going to be using script. We are going to be downloading a module for this. Um, I want everything to run through Webpack. You know, so that way we only have one JS file loading. Uh, if we did this, it'll have two JS file loading, this script and then our bundle.js, which I don't want. I just want just one. So we're going to be doing it not via script, but via module. So actually, we will just uh, open up your terminal, navigate to the project. So that way we could install that module right now. So new terminal. Is this a project, by the way? Yeah, OK, this is a project. So what I'm going to do is yarn add Firebase. It's literally just called Firebase. That that is it. And I'm just I'm just waiting for it to be done. Yep. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll, I'll get back to you on this one once it's done. So once that all is downloaded, uh, we're going to create a new file and a folder for Firebase uh, usage. So inside of source, we're going to create a new folder. We're going to call, call it Firebase, Firebase. And inside of here, we're going to create a new file, ca file called Firebase.js. And this is where we're going to actually connect to our database. So that way, uh, anytime any other component or any other file wants to connect to the database, they could just import this file and it'll be connected to the database. Now, the first thing in the, in here, we're going to import our Firebase, but we're going to do it a little bit different. So we're going to do import star, which means everything as Firebase from Firebase. Now you might be like weirded out, weirded out for this right here, this part right here. Don't worry about it. It just takes all the named uh, exports and just dumps it into a, an object where you can uh, access that named export from Firebase dot. So for an example, inside of our actions, we have like counter actions, right? Where we have increment and decrement set, reset, all those things, right? So we could actually do it the same way. I'm going to do it right now. Import. I'm going to say everything. I'm going to say as I'm a, let's see, counter, what was the counter action? Yeah, counter action. I'm going to say counter action. And we're going to set from, and I do have to like navigate through it, actions, and it's going to be counter actions. Okay. Now we have access to every little named export through counter action. So counter action dot and decrement, increment, reset, set. It's a little bit different. It, 
you, you've seen this before. You just never worded it like this. Now, the reason I'm doing it this way is because Firebase, Firebase the docs for Firebase recommends it. We do it this way. And plus, most of the documentation you're going to see out there is going to do like Firebase dot something, Firebase dot something. You're never going to see a like you're used to actually having uh, destructuring right and here we would add increment you know decrement and you're used to seeing this you're not going to see increment and then for firebase docs you're not going to see that you're going to actually see firebase dot whatever so that's 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 the reason why i'm doing it like this okay all right now all that's all that we need to do is actually go back into not there right here and just copy all the things right here. Don't don't copy. Uh, you can actually copy the comments if you want. Just don't copy the Firebase analytics unless you want to. It doesn't really matter if you want to. You can um, go right here, paste that sucker right there, and we're actually connected to our the database. Now that was the whole video. Oh, before I leave, I do want to test the connection to see if we're actually doing it right or not. Just in case you're not doing it right, then you would know what's going on. So down here, we are, we are going to write a, a statement and do not worry about the statement so far. It is a little bit weird and I'm going to explain it in another video. But just for right now, we're going to just just write what I do. What do what I write? Just just write what I write. Yeah, write, write, write what I write and um, to see if we can actually figure this out. All right. Or if it's if we're actually connected to our database. So Firebase dot database dot ref dot ref dot set and we are going to pass in an object and set we're going to say a uh, name and we're going to just put a name in here wdj just like that and that is it this should send a something to our database now obviously nothing's referencing this file for right now so what we're going to be doing it what we're going to be doing is going to app in, into app.js and in here this is where we're going to actually uh put in our what's it called our file <laughs> so right below this i'm going to do that by the way i don't even know why we have this i i guess i never actually we actually get rid of all that. Get rid of. Get rid of moment. Get filter and all the budget stuff. We don't need all this here anymore. Or do we? Uh, I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure we don't need it. I just don't want to break anything right now. But that's not the case. That's not the, that's not the whole point of the video. Right now we're gonna import that file. Import and we're just going to import um, Firebase slash Firebase. Control save. Now let's open up a terminal and then do yarn. Nope, not in there. In here, yarn run dev server. And it should give you a link to actually run it from. Let me see. Ah, it did it by itself. I forgot we did add that little touch so that way it does it by itself. And you should see your bucket list app. Let me see what's going wrong on mine. Something obviously something went wrong. Store is not defined. Crap. Here we go. Oosh. Let me actually copy this. Undo everything because oh, that's the store. Yeah. Let me get rid of all. Oh, screw it. I'm a, don't worry, guys. Once I upload this to GitHub, you're not going to see any of this. It's going to be cleaned up. Now let me actually add this back inside here control save and then you should have it right here not that one this one refresh and you yeah okay we get warnings which is it's it's fine it's fine don't worry about the warnings but we have this right now although it's kind of looking iffy but to actually to actually check if we actually got our we're actually connected to our database we can actually go inside database and we should see, uh, we should have saw something. Obviously we don't. So hold up. All right. I figured it out. It was something really, really stupid. Um, nothing, nothing wrong with the code. By the way, I did. Yeah. Not see that. Nothing wrong with the code. The thing was that they have two things, the cloud, the, the cloud fire store, which 
we need to, uh, the rules are anybody could do it. But for our real time database, which is the one we actually want, this is the one you need to click on. The rules are a bit different. Now, if you go to rules, it will say false and false, meaning that uh, not anybody could read and write in this real time database, which is kind of, you know, it's, yeah. Anyways, you have false and false for, for authentication reasons. So what you want to do is actually flip this to true and true. And once you do that, just hit the publish button right here and it should be working there on out. All right. So once you do that, just restart your server and it should give you like, I could, I could redo it again. Let me go to Firebase right now and I'm going to say a name, let's say a uh, web dev journey. Uh, control save this and we're going to actually see go to data you see my name actually changed to web dev journey which is awesome all right so if you see this uh it should be working do not worry about anything it should be working all is fine in the next video we're going to get down and dirty basically getting into details on how how to write to the database in detail so I hope you enjoyed this one. This is just a connecting to the database for Firebase uh, from Firebase. Sorry, that's it. Just connect the connection. That that if you can see me right now, I look stupid because I'm doing something with my hands. I don't know what the, what I'm doing. Anyways, yeah. Next video, we're gonna get into details on actually writing to the database. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you spending your time watching these videos. As dumb as I sound, or as dumb as um. This is, I do, uh, I do enjoy it. And also I do appreciate it. So thank you so much for actually sticking around, uh, watching my videos and we haven't, please subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, if you find it informative or if you like the series so far, like it, subscribe, leave a comment down below on what I could have done better or what I should be doing. Um, like I said, I'm not a know it all. I am not by far. A know this should be my this is going to be my intro for the next video i am not a know-it-all i do need some help sometimes and sometimes we do things out of date and you're like what why why is it doing it that way well i'm just you know I, I i don't read the docs every single day so if you have any more info please leave, leave a comment down below on what i should be doing so yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one bye